And this is Closer's Housing and Garden, I guess that's what it's called. I waited to do this until I got to level 10 so that I could show you more of it. And I forgot one thing before starting this. Yes, I have a lot of junk in my back. But I have to remember. There it is. Okay, so... This is your house. You can change stuff here. You can buy various items. There's some cash shop items you can buy if you rather those. There's also some stuff you can't get until you get a higher level. I don't know what these are. But yeah. I haven't done much with it. Just purely because I don't want to spend the gold on it. Some of the items you can interact with. It gives you the hot tub to interact with. And other things are just there. Let's see, here's the... Eh, let's do... Eh, why not? You do have to double click on certain things to be able to get it to be used. I'm not really sure why they have my character win all of his outfit, but hey. But the main thing is this explore for this one. And this is a level 10. I don't remember when the other one's unlocked. You automatically get this one. And each one has a different level and different hours. Like this 20 hour one is kind of insane. But you just pick a character. For this one I always use my lowest level character and I do need more to make more characters. And then I generally do my really low level because it doesn't really matter. And then you start exploring. What you want is at least this 100%. That way you get this. And then you have a chance to get additional rewards from it. If you get the higher. But there's some like this high level one. See I only have a 38% chance to finish with her. I don't really know. Let's find out. Because I only unlocked this one earlier today. Well I guess last night. Right before reset. But anyway. See, even with three max level pets and a max level character, you can only get 7% to send this one out. So it sounds like you have to have... Well, no, because that's 100%. So I wouldn't deal with the receive additional for some of these. It's just some of it's insane. There is this domestic one. The domestic is cash up. Let me see if I can figure out. There it is. It is... I don't, s I don't know where it is actually. Let's find out. Housing. Okay. It's this maid service here. And then there's the growing one. I haven't tried that one. But maybe one day. There's two different maid service as you see on here there's also a VIP made service that's if you have two days worth or 60 days worth as soon as you drop down to 30 days the VIP goes away and you have to do it again and they're just extra places to go I was I got these from one of the events that's going on right now this is the maid right here. As you can see you have access to another area that has 30% chance of finding a washing machine. Uh, you get daily cheer count plus three so you can use cheer three times a day which exploration time is minus two hours. And the monster levels are lower so that that thing that I showed you earlier would be less. Uh, you get more credit and yeah so putting my main character and my three level 50 
pets. After I find there it is. If I sent them out, I have a higher chance of getting stuff, is basically what that means. It's just that the, these levels of the mobs have decreased, so you can put lower level and get this to go higher. And then this is your uh, washing machine one. These items that it gives up here seem to change each day, and they're different each time you send them out. So don't really think that this is the same in each one. This is if you, once you do 20 explorations, you get this, depending on what level you are. If you're 15, you unlock these. Before that, you unlock all this. You can only pick one of these once you get to 20. I really don't know what to get for half of this stuff, so I generally just get the resurrection capsules. And then you claim it, and then it goes back down to 20, and you can start all over again. Mm, I will send two out, because I was going to do this anyway. Alright, I can't do that yet. I'm just going to send two of my characters out. So, which ones were I going to send out? Why not? And this is the thing that you get. You can see how much EXP it gives. Of course, if your character's max level, it doesn't get EXP. Then you get credits. This is how much money it gives you, I think. Or is that... No, I think this is... This is how much housing EXP it gives. Exploration rate, blah, blah, blah. Well, you can see everything that it gives. And then you start exploring. There are certain er the items you can craft, which I think this unlocks at like level 2 or 3 or something like that. I think I got to level 4 on the first day. Um, there's these crystals that are used for most things. You get these for the explorations. You get these for the gardens, for the gardening area that I'll show in a minute. Here's one wing, or yeah, wings. Two, level two, and then you have the level three. They cost a lot of money and these things. And it's going to take a long time to make. And they have some idle outfits. Again, you have to craft those things. It is a set. And you have these. But you can just see, there's a, quite a bit that you can craft, but they take a long time to be able to get. Especially if you want to do anything else with your items. And there's this stuff, this is furniture items. And it tells you how many you can place, like you may place up to two. And there's titles, and it tells you what the title gives you. They do give stats, but the titles, again, cost a lot of those coins. Then you have these. These, uh, This one decreases exploration by an hour if you craft it. This one does six hours, and then this one just automatically finishes it. These are for planar gate stuff, and then you have your talismans. And the talismans take strength potions. Then you have this plant. This plant is part of the gardening, but it gives you cost a random costume. It takes three days. The two costumes I've gotten is this tiger thing here and this eye, uh, dust eye line tattoo. And again, if you just if you want to lower your exploration by two hours, then you just click this one. 
this is how long your maid lasts. If you get the VIP one, I've been told you get double of this. It's like you get two maids, plus you can use this. But I'm not really sure. I've never had the VIP one. And then you have your garden. Once it loads, there we go. Oh right, you get a gift for getting for having the garden spirit. You get a gift each day. The one I got is this, which it's just a normal thing. This is with that costume tree that I was mentioning. It takes three hours. This I think is the same thing, except it takes thirty. If well, it says fields. I've never tried it because it costs EMP and that's all the EMP I have. But then there's also these packages which have costume and some, or not costume, uh, furniture. And it has a lot of different furnitures that you can buy. For this, like I said, you do this, you receive the thing. The watering makes it to where items like the tree are. can be used three times, uh, plant growing times negative two. It has a VIP version as well, I think, which also does double, but I'm not really 100% sure. Like I said, I've never bought any of this stuff. Like I said, this is my tree. If I exit it, then it will cancel it, and I don't think I get the tree back. Then you have these two plants that you can buy. This one just gives uh, upgrading materials. This one gives money, so I generally just do the money one. You have three different fi fields. You have these, then you have these two, and then you have this one. And as you can see, I can do this one three times and the, the others two times. This is because I have the fairy. It unlocks all of the level requirements, so you can just plant as many as you can maximum, basically. Oh, there's the rainbow tree that they give you. It takes... So I think these also take the place of the one that you buy in the cash shop takes these, but I'm not 100% sure because I've never bought one. But you do it once, you click apply, you get this screen, they all get there. And then you can see here, they're all growing. And I'll use my water. You can always skip this by pressing escape, but I kind of want to show it all. This automatically makes a few of them finish. Just because they were one hour seeds. I don't know if later on there's higher level ones. Like I said, I'm level 10 and I haven't seen anything. And it doesn't seem like my level is... whoa. Okay, it's gonna take a long time. Do, 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 do. And because I have the f fairy and I can plant some more this is, of course, like I said, the maximum amount that you can plant, period. And then you apply again, and these you can are little things that you can buy, like this. And all they do is just, like, that little... Over here, this thing in the sky is something that I bought to put up there. So, it's just little things.
I generally do the money ones just because these things are quite a bit both of these items if you get both of them you have to buy them if you want the VIP then you have to buy double these and it's like ten dollars so that's twenty bucks I think if I remember the ratio so that's forty bucks right there and then ten bucks or twenty bucks a month if you want both and then you have the r normal VIP so I don't know if it's really worth it or not I guess that's up to you um, right I guess I can show you this you just press move to go into it to go into housing period I'll show you that after I start this let's do this normally I would use that but that means I have to change characters so let's do 30 30 and 30 see what happens. That was kind of overkill, but me. Just doing this to show things. Press cheer. This is her little animation when you do the cheer and it decreases your exploration by two hours which means some of my explorations will be finished when I show this get reward and that's how you get the exploration and I think this is the bonus is the exploration And it shows you how much EXP and everything that these get. Oh yeah, that's the explorations and everything. You might have seen the how it shows this green banner. These means that these are able to level to level them you go to the hub you can either press exit or you can go to it via your characters At the automatically you can also go to housing via just logging into the character the character does have to be level 16 to be able to get into housing and be able to use the housing and then if you need to go into housing again it's just this there are little icons that pop up uh, one's like a little green leaf it tells you that there's something in your garden that's done and the other one is I think it's like a like yellow little thing telling you that hey you have an exploration done go do your exploration and as you can see it does remove your pet and if your character is on an exploration you can't do anything see you can craft stuff you can open stuff but you can't do any missions so you have to be really careful with that. I generally don't have this character go on explorations or whatever character I'm going to play that night until I'm done and then I take them, throw them in exploration or I put them in an exploration before I go to bed. That's just how I do it. Others might do it a different way. So it really depends on you how you want to do them. If you, pretty sure with the explorations, I've done it before. If you send someone out before reset and then it finishes after reset, or you don't pick it up after reset, you can still do the exploration that day. If you do it for the garden though, it won't do it because the garden counts as you harvest and the exploration seems to count as you send them off. 
So just keep all that in mind when you are doing your housing stuff. I don't really know what else to say when it comes to housing. If you want your characters can level through this, that's why I generally just put the lower levels well that and the monster EXP is why I put the lower levels and the lower ranked ones. They do get a little bit of EXP. My Yuri, I think it was this one has leveled from like I think it was like 25 mostly from doing all of this. So, yeah, I mean, it's not exactly the best thing to do sometimes, but I, this is just how I do things. How do I want to do this? But yeah, I hope this helps for those of you that are just now starting your housing or just want to know a little bit more about it. Like I said, I'm not 100% sure on the VIP stuff. I do know that you need two months of that item to be VIP and that if you drop down to only 30 days, then it stops right then and there. So yeah, I hope this helps. See you on the next one.